<laughs> so the kids are playing uh, baseball. Thank goodness that was not a real baseball. But they want to spend their Sunday evening playing ball today. Our adventures don't always have to take us away from home. They could be right here in our home. They're, they're kind of doing a horrible job playing baseball. But anyway, our adventures could be anywhere. Could be at our home in the backyard. Or it could be out and about in town. Just to kind of give you guys a little recap of our day. We did go to church this morning. And then we came home and rested a little while after lunch. We did go to Mayflower for lunch. We rested a little while after lunch and then we went out did a little grocery shopping. And then the kids wanted to come out and play ball. I only have one strike. It runs some energy out today. No. That one was way too high. Oh yeah. And you're not in the right place. What is, what's Ghost Man on third? He's he not even touching the bases. <laughs> he ain't touched that one base. You didn't, you didn't touch first, second, or third. You're out. Give me the ball, bro. Give me the ball. That boy will ride that circle for like hours in the back yard on that four wheeler.
Always make sure they wear their helmets for safety. Even though know, they only ride in the yard, they're not riding very fast. We actually have a remote control for RJ's because of his age. So that we can control his four-wheeler. Um, we can cut it off, we can disable it, and it'll stop right where it is. And then we have to go back and start it back up. And he just cheated and cut his sister off. You want to keep your kids happy <laughs> and give them like hours of fun. All you need is a can of gas and two four wheelers and some helmets, of course. Like I said, we like to keep it safe. Just ride a little circle in the backyard of the house. It helps daddy out so he didn't have to. They mash the grass down in that area down there. They don't ride every day, they ride every once in a while. Enjoy it. It's a beautiful sunset over the houses here in our community. I guess Harmony's tired of riding. It hurts her hands to ride. We have to get her some riding gloves. This one it rattles and vibrates. Mm -hmm. So we got Harmony's four wheeler for her birthday last year. So her four wheel is almost a year old. Is this a year old? She's got a birthday coming up next month. So that's what she went for her birthday. RJ got his for his birthday in March last year. So his is a year old. Endless hours of circling. A little circle, and he's happy. Sometimes we'll let him take them out other places. They go out to the church and ride out there. It's a lot bigger than our backyard, of course. Um, they did recently go to West Virginia with their uncle and aunt and cousins um, for Easter break, and they rode there four wheelers and their stuff. Can you hold this? Mm -hmm. 
he got his started back up. RJ usually has a little basket on the back. Right here, we usually put little baskets on the back for him. Little crates, um, like drink crates and um, things like that, like milk crates on the back. And then they can put little things up there if they want to or in the basket. Usually, RJ has the cones that we kind of cart off their stuff. But, of course, their four-wheelers are made for their sizes. There's not, she's not on an adult four-wheeler. Um, her four-wheeler is for age, was it 13 and younger? 16 and younger. Um, RJ's is made for his age. Um, I think his goes up to about eight to 10 years old for his four-wheeler, it's a lot smaller. Um, I don't know if you've seen his up close, he won't stay still long enough for me to get up close on his four-wheeler. I'll try to get a little bit closer when he rounds his corner so maybe you can see it when he comes through. See how tiny his four wheeler is. It's not very big. <laughs> and as you can see, they have flattened the grass out here. I'm gonna walk out into the middle. Let's catch him circle around us every once in a while. in the middle of the, the circle they made. them safety with their four wheelers not to chase each other of course they can't go but so fast they have a lockout on rj um he can't go but so fast even though he's getting pretty good him and harmony harmony doesn't have one like i said we taught them how to be really safe with their four wheelers um, so that they don't hurt themselves because they can be dangerous if you don't know how to use those i don't use the four wheelers when we're home without daddy he knows a little bit more about starting the four wheelers and all that than i do so they only use their four wheelers when he's here plus it's nice to have another adult in case one of them gets hurt um we teach them to be careful don't do tricks don't do things they see on tv um with them doing because those things can be unsafe um and just teach them to respect their four wheelers and their four wheelers will respect them. And that's one of the biggest keys. So I think RJ is running out of gas is what his problem is. He keeps cutting off. So we'll see you guys. Do something different. Don't do the same thing. We're in the Catch your airplane going to that little uh, airport RJ was talking about the other day when we were at Sawyer's talking about Bullseye 102. It's one of the little airplanes that goes over there.
Christy, how he asked her what he was doing. He was acknowledging that they were coming head on to each other so they wouldn't have an accident. Because they're actually going more towards each other than they were prior. That's part of their safety with their four wheelers. Hopefully we can get them some out so they can ride around and get the photos to ride. up close of RJ's see how small he is he is and he's a little fella don't play with the gas cap because you tighten it on one time too tight we had to figure out how to get it off so uh, he doesn't have his basket up there on the back yep that's his helmet you can see all the dirt on his helmet from West Virginia we had cleaned his helmet from when he went they went and big deep mud holes and all kind of stuff they have fun with Aunt Ginger and Uncle Dustin. Didn't you? Yes. You did. A lot. But I still missed you. You still miss me. I missed you too. I had to go to work though. So I had to come back home. That's yeah, his American flag for there. He's chilling on his bike. He's and taking it, his break right now. LED lights. Yeah, he's got LED lights on his um, And Daddy slapped the on. RJ, if I get you a push mower and hook it right here, will you cut the grass? <laughs> and Mama, Daddy cut the strings to cut the wires to this. Okay, it's okay. It was killing the battery. We it was, yeah, it was killing day. your battery. We're having to buy another battery very often. Or either <laughs> jump your battery. We could put LED lights right there. Right we'll have to find some kind of other configuration for that. Yeah. Like Harmony's putting out the cones. I don't know why. You keep hitting that hole. All right, break time. Is it over yet? Your, is your interview over? No. No. What else you want to tell everybody? Mom might sign me up for baseball one day, so y'all might get, so she might record me playing baseball. Mm-hmm. Think about fall ball. It's a little cooler. I like fall ball better. Right, you taking off on me again? The little dirty helmet? It's not my fault. Uncle Dustin's. It's Uncle Dustin's fault. It's okay. You had a good time with them. That was all that mattered, right? I decided to put my roller up because I'm scared of skinwalkers. So what are skinwalkers? Half like goat or different kinds of animals that have animal heads that are basically just humans. But they're naturally but they're naturally not humans. They're not humans, they're skinwalkers. Yes. Have you ever heard of skinwalkers? Till today. Like right now, the first time you heard of it? Yeah, I heard. Hey guys, did y'all like our video today? To help us do the videos better, please make sure you like, subscribe, subscribe and mama. Hit the notification button. And, and share. share. And guess what? You can put in the comments where you want us to go next. Or your favorite part. A country or a state or a restaurant. Oh, yep. Because we like to go out and explore new places this summer. In nature. And nature. Yes, we do like to be out in nature. So, this is our video for today. We'd like to say happy Father's Day to all our fathers. We didn't do a video of our early morning um, stuff. We went to church today. And we went to Mayflower and had seafood. RJ had cheeseburger. Harmony had chicken. They don't eat seafood. And, I do eat seafood. Oh, he does seafood. eat seafood. Food. Okay, whatever. So, thank you all for watching our videos, and we will see you on our next adventure. Talkies.
Ew. Talkies is not part of the adventure. Be quiet. Bye, guys. Everybody I wave bye. I love talkies. Wave bye. <laughs>